I had to mature hugely and I didn't probably realize it for another two years after that because it was still that first five years was really slow um because where there was a mismatch for me um I I could do the work I, f I felt really comfortable at, you know improvising or if I was given any direction or uh I, I could al always felt that I could deliver the the goods and then some, you know, but what was I wasn't used to was being in an audition environment. So talking about myself. So right. this kid from, you know, Liverpool, I didn't have anything to say about myself because I felt as if it hadn't happened, you know, um, I, I was just thinking I was just hugely insecure. So the my agent probably got me some nice meetings at that time, some nice TV. And I think I just went there and just yeah didn't know how to do it. Didn't know, you know, that you should find out who the directors are beforehand and what other work have they done. I mean, of course, that would be maybe so much easier to do now. A couple of, you know, clicks on IMBD, but... So the, the, I had no sophistication around the interview process, the audition process. And I, I think that's, I think drama schools are, um, well, I'd certainly like to think that they're much more on it now. And I think, uh, <clears throat> because, um, yeah, pe people obviously wanted to know who they were, were working with who were you what were you going to be like on set and i that was i was like a sort of empty vessel waiting to be filled you know